update. I got it off. All right. With the tub still full, we're gonna try and replace this, uh, fix the, the problems with the temperature fluctuations. So, curious what that says. Um, anyway, we need to, I'm gonna try to keep this top part on and uh, get to that. Get to this inside this box. All right, you can see that everything's still connected. I have it wedged up a little bit. I've got I think three screws to take out. One here that I took out already, and then another one's right here. And then I think this is the ground. Take that off. And then this is supposed to slide out of this enclosure. Okay, and now we have added two 10 microfarad capacitors. These are 50 volt ones to the two temperature sensors. So there's one here and then one there. We wedged it, wedged it in against the connectors and see if that'll fix the problem. Okay, so we just started back up. The P code was on for a little while and it just turned, I set it to 104. It's in heat mode now, and it's staying on 94. And it's not fluctuating. It fluctuated to 95 for a second, but it's been kind of hanging out on 94 for a second now. It's raining out here in the PNW, so we've got the umbrella covering everything up. But yeah, it's kind of doing that. Before, when it got to this, it was at 90. It was fluctuating between 95 and up to 108 is what it did. And then the P came back on, and then it was just kind of done. So this looks promising. We'll see how it ends up. We're back. So I set it to 95 now. It was at 95. Now it's got the P again. What's that? I think it's doing its temperature sensing. I believe it said it does that for a couple months. Anyway, what I did was I, it was at 95 degrees. I had it set at 95 degrees, hoping it would just shut off. I think there's a two degree delta on the on off thing. So it'll, I think it goes up to like 97 to maintain 95 and then it'll drop a couple degrees and then turn, turn back on. So I dropped it down to 93 and then it shut off. And I put it back up to 95 that I wanted to come back on. And I think it's doing its sensing thing for a couple minutes with the P code, and then it should come back on. And we can set it even higher. We put it like 98. Oh, there it goes. And then we'll see what P does. It should come back as the temperature. I think it's doing its sensing. I think the P just means it's sensing the temperature and it takes a minute or two to relay that. So we'll see. Okay, we're back and the P code just went off and it's displaying the temperature now. Excellent. I think we have fixed it up. So next I just gotta put this thing back together. The circuit board is kinda hanging out a little bit. It's a little tight to get it back into the box. I tried to push it back in earlier, but then we wanted to just test it before we put it all back together. So I'm gonna push that back in. Probably throw a little bit of tape around this thing. There wasn't any on, but I've seen other videos where people had to tape it, where it was taped from the factory. And then this thing is re was really tight pulling it off, so I'll have to pull it back down and then clean it up a little bit. And it should be good to go. All right, update. We got the cover put back on. I pulled it down really tight, cinched the cord, put the, I don't have the cover around the foam. I just have the foam right now. I just got this as a used unit, it's supposed to be running perfectly. It had the problem where it was doing the temperature fluctuations. Um, fixed it, thank you online forums. You guys are great. Um, and now it's I've got it set at 102 and it's at 99 in heating. It was not doing this at all when I was, when I first got it, it was just kind of going wild. It, P code was just 
always on. It never really went off of it, except for when it was initially heating up from cold water up to whatever it was. And at the whole time it was heating up, it would fluctuate um, like plus or minus five, up to 10 degrees, um, like just constantly. So um, it appears that we have fixed it and I'm very, very excited about this. Lights. This is the uh, Soft Tub 220 model, and it's I guess it's from 2018 per the code on the uh, circuit board, and the the manufacturer date. Oh, energy is 800. Excellent. Thanks for watching.